She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that feeds her You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her Oh, anyway, what advice can you give me now? Plan is... Debbie. What? You mean the woman that got me in here in the first place? She literally ruined my entire life. She has made me be separated from my family and had to come here now. Are you done? Yes, I'm done. It's a trick. What? What do you mean? Ah, your brain really is so small, isn't it? Look, she has money, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, she didn't have as long as a sentence as you, and she's also got family who actually want her out of here. So she will be bailed out in no time. If you act like you want to get back with her, then when she let gets let out, you can be bailed out by her. Get it? Oh, that makes sense now. Mm-hmm. Yes, well done. Your brain finally opened up. Maybe you're actually giving good advice for once. I always give good advice. I told you it was Debbie's fault, not mine. Sure. Oh my god, I'm so bored today. I've been rereading this magazine for about two hours now. I think it's like the fifth time I've read reread it. So bored. All my other siblings aren't home. They're all with Aunt Lisa. They're so lucky. I can't believe today is the day that I have to actually face my fear and go see Dad in prison. That's like the worst thing that can ever happen to me. I'm not looking forward to it at all. Maybe there's some way I can get out of it, but... I don't think there is. I think mum's going to actually make me go because I got out of it last time. Okay, let me at least look on my laptop, see if there's anything to do on there. Um, no, not that. Okay, let me just look, look through Netflix, see if there's anything good to watch. Oh, I've already watched that. I've watched that a million times and um, Maddie, I can't watch that again. No, can't watch that. No, not that. Oh, I like that. Oh, I can't watch that. I've already seen that. Oh, that's for the movie night I'm having tomorrow. Oh, there's nothing to watch. So boring without anyone here. Oh my god. Okay, there's nothing else to do. Let me just close down my laptop. Oh, there's nothing to do, so I may as well just touch up my makeup before I go. Okay, let's just put on some sunscreen because I didn't do that this morning. So I can't believe I'm actually going to go face my fancy dad today. It's going to be so weird talking to him through a screen. It's not like it's quarantine anymore. Like, can't believe it. It's going to be so weird. I hope that other lady isn't there. I wonder who else would be there. Maybe he's made some friends in there. He didn't really have any friends otherwise. But, I mean, it's going to be so weird actually talking to him through the actual screen. It's going to be scary too. What if someone, like, looks at me weird? What if he's, like, changed since he's been in prison? Like, that's probably the worst nightmare that could ever happen. Okay, let me just finish up this mascara. And I should be ready to go. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me this morning. Hopefully, I will hear from you guys soon. Bye. Well, I just got off of the phone with another company. Obviously, it's kind of weird now seeing as Ezra is in prison. I mean, he does help, you know, financially, monthly, like through the lawyers and things like that. But I am going to have to probably start working a second job now, as well as the daycare, seeing as I am the one who's mainly at home. And if we want to keep this home, I mean, despite everything that's happened, the kids do really love this place. And I don't think they want to move away. So if having to get another job to keep this place is what I have to do, then so be it. I mean, I've applied for so many jobs. I've even asked Lisa if she needs some extra help at the diner. But, you know, I feel like I should do something for me. I would be happy, you know, just picking up an extra part-time job. But maybe I could always, you know, use that um, college degree that I got and go off and do something really exciting. I'm not sure, but we'll see what happens in the future. But you know what? I'm so tired from all of this. Oh, my gosh. 
I need a break let's close down my laptop real quick and in the meantime I'm gonna go see how Liv is doing it's only me and Liv home at the minute because Gigi Maddie and Landon have all gone out to go play basketball together and they're also gonna be staying okay. Pieces for the day because Liv has been hiding from something for a while. She is the only one out of the kids who hasn't gone to see uh, Ezra yet and you know he is really starting to get angry at me now every time I go there to try and get him to sign some divorce papers which he's still refusing to sign. Um, he was always telling me to bring Liv, bring Liv and I finally convinced her to go through with it. I mean I feel bad because if she doesn't want to then she shouldn't have to but I really cannot be bothered with any more arguments with Ezra and you know Liv doesn't seem too opposed to the idea so I'm sure it will be okay once we get there. I'm just making us some noodles real quickly. I mean seeing as I've been quite busy recently it's been so good having all these like quick little meals you can just put in the microwave and been coming in really handy but I'm hoping to get back into like a routine soon for me and the kids and we can go back to some proper home cooked meals because I have been missing some of my favourite recipes. You guys know how much I love cooking so I'm looking forward to get back into it. Looks like these noodles are done and we'll give them a minute to cool down so I can go grab Liv. I'm pretty sure she's in her room but she hasn't really spoke to me much today. I think she's a little bit nervous about um, going to see Ezra today so that's understandable. Liv, can I come in? Yeah, nothing interesting happening. Are you having more interesting luck? Uh, I mean, I have wow. much fancy outfit. Really? Fancy, do you think? Yeah, it looks nice. Looks I like mean, it's from my wardrobe. Did you steal it? No, I didn't steal it. But, you know, I've been trying out some new styles and this is my, my new style, I think. quite like it. But anyway. Yeah, it looks I nice. Doing much downstairs, thank you. I've just been um, sorting out some new job applications and things like that. But do you want to come down? I've got some noodles for you before we have to get going. <gasps> Yum, yeah. Oh, Mum, do we have to go? What do you mean, do we have to go? I mean, he's been in prison for a long time now, so we should probably go see him. He's so desperate. Well, I'm, I'm a busy girl. I know you're a very busy girl, but you know, it's not like he's meant to be in there for much longer. He's got a couple months left. Um, and I Are guess. Are you going to bail him out? Uh, me? Bail him out? No. Never. Oh, is is Debbie um, bailing him out? Maybe Kim K? I don't know. I, I don't care either, you know. I mean. Me either. Maybe I'll get a restraining order on the both of them. Oh, hooray! Well, Debbie's got hers. I'm not afraid to make another because if he seriously comes out of prison in a few months' time and starts telling me to get back with him and doesn't sign the papers, then there's going to be problems. But, you know, I'm not worried anyway. And I'm just hoping he doesn't, you know, get let out early or something like that for good behaviour or something because I really am not in the right headspace to be dealing with that. What if he has to do the community service around Fruithaven? He might come here. Might want to put that restraining order on quick sticks. Oh, I mean, has he signed his divorce papers yet? No, I've been trying to go every week. That's the only reason why I go, not because I l want to get back with him or anything like that. To just get him to sign the papers, and he won't do it. But you know, oh, can you just fun. forge a signature? Uh, no, otherwise I'll end up in prison. Then where are you going to go? Okay. Um, I, I'm nearly old enough to adopt all the kids, so uh, we can just live here. Well, it's two more years. Yeah about to work you know you need a job to keep up with this place there's bills to pay you know i'll work at aunt lisa's diner and drive my car uh, okay well anyway we should i have a game plan get going okay can Let's we drive can i drive can i drive um you know what you actually can. you can it's yay you can drive your car okay and we'll go together you can try my you can see my driving um please just don't Kill me. Okay. Uh, Liv, wait, hold on. Uh, yes? Have you not learned you need to turn oh, off? Oh, yeah, I have to turn. Off. I have to open the roof. Sorry, I forgot. Okay, no. the roof's open now. Not open the roof of your convertible. I'm saying you need to turn off the lights and shut the garage door. Oh. But anyway, you can have right. to down. I guess it is getting warmer. Let's go. Okay, please. Whee! 
prepare for oh my gosh i forgot how fast this car goes i think i went insane is it the best um it's good it's great i really like it oh my live <laughs> get out of Sorry. my car you might have just smashed your car <laughs> Someone put that pole there. I don't think it's meant to be there. Oh my gosh! Right. Um, have a look. The car looks fine. Yeah, it looks fine. It's just a little dent. It's fine. Uh, it looks like okay. It I'm gives it texture. Try. Hey, it's my car. Okay, that's and not fair. I always wonder how you actually. Park. You're gonna get us to go to prison. Your driving's horrendous. Oh goodness me! Look how slow you're going. Well, look. There's a red light. So you need to stop. Okay. But anyway, red lights make light. Come on now. Uh, Liv, really. But anyway, on a more sensible note, are you looking forward to seeing um your dad's down? I know it's a bit weird the you know location and things like that, but it has been a while. Are you mm. not excited in the least to you know get to speak to him or not really? Look like I'm excited. I mean, like part of me is actually excited. Like, don't answer that question. Um, so part of me is actually excited, but the other, the other part of me is not. Sorry. Well, not long we'll be there, okay? So let's get going. Can you speed it up a bit? You're going really slow. This is not a snail race. Uh, live! Oh my god, mum, I actually can't believe we're here. Could you not drive any slower? I didn't want to be here. It's actually uh, starting to feel so much more real now. I'm actually getting really nervous. Well, you tell me to drive faster and it's going to be fine, okay? Um, I don't know about that. Dad's probably like a new man and he's probably like all reckless and everything. Okay, well, it's most definitely going to be fine, okay? So don't even worry about it. Mum, no, 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 stop. I don't want to go. I don't want to go, Mum, no, please. You, you can't make me. I have all the rights to not go. Okay, well, you're going to have to just come anyway. Liv, get out of the car. No. no, unless you bribe me with makeup. Right, okay, well, you know what then? I'm just going to have to go in and your dad is going to be distraught, okay? And then you're going to have to leave me to deal with it. Okay, fine, I'll come, I won't do all you. of it. Gosh. Right, come on, let's go in and wait in the waiting room until we get called, okay? Oh, look, it's locked. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, what, what do you mean? Right, just, just take a seat, okay? Just take a seat. Sadly. We'll wait here patiently okay look I, I don't think anyone's in i think if they're closed i'm going to visit oh, oopsies live you're going gonna go home you're going in just once okay <sighs> okay leonard is that you Yes, it is. I thought you were retired from all of that stuff you used to do. Why are you in here? You know, all the things I've done over the years and the thing that I get caught and put in prison for is shoplifting. And do you want to know what I was shoplifting? Go for it. A flower pot. And I do not mean my darling Taylor Peach. <laughs> An actual flower pot. Oh, um, how did you get caught? Well, there was someone following me around the store, apparently. It was a nightmare, but, um, yeah, my my mum is dead, so she can't bail me out with her riches anymore. Oh, um, I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. She was quite annoying anyway. Anyway, you must have been quite foolish to get caught for kidnapping. I didn't kidnap them. Right, sure you didn't. Oh, I've hated prison. It's so bad in here and I miss my family and I miss my house and I miss my my kids. Oh, save the sobbing. I will not feel sorry for you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Anyway. It's just really hard. Well, where's that psycho girlfriend of yours? Uh, she sat over there with that guy, probably her new boyfriend to be honest. Oh, right. But I hate her now. She ruined everything for me. She ruined everything? You're the one who kidnapped them. I didn't kidnap them for the last time. 
Whoa, I'm not going to have a food fight with you. <sighs> anyway, if you really want your family back, it's actually not that hard. Huh? Not that hard? What does he mean? Idiot. Absolute idiot. Attention inmates, visiting ours will start shortly. Oh my goodness, if my wife hasn't bought live this time, I'm going to go crazy. I miss her so much. I haven't spoken to her in months and I haven't seen her face. And I, I just miss her. I need her to come. I need her to come. Oh my God, if you carry on with this drama and this nuisance, your visiting hours will be discarded and you won't be allowed to meet your family. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I take it back. I'll go sit down. I promise. I'll be, I'll be good. <laughs> Ugh, okay, fine. Attention to all the visitors. The visiting hours will start shortly. Okay, uh, looks like you're the Peach family. You're just in time. Oh, perfect. Come on, Liv. Let's go. Oh, I don't want to do this, man. Do I? Trust me, I just want my divorce paper signed. Anyway, uh, where's the sign-in sheet? Here we go. Sign in. Mum, do you even have the divorce papers? Yep, just under this sign in sheet, I have everything. I come prepared every time. I basically have a prison bag at this point that I bring with me. Which no, you would. Just to get everything done. But no, he refuses. But anyway, Thank goodness. Sign in here. He'll probably listen to me, so. Maybe, actually. You, you know, you always got what you wanted, so I'm sure you can help me out. Of course. Okay, here we go. Sign in. Perfect. Okay, is it just through the regular way, miss? Oh, yeah. Okay, come on then, Liv. Let's go. Wait in here now until we get called out again, okay? Okay, how long will it be? Well, the time varies. Oh, so much waiting. Oh, my God. We just get this over and done with. Well, we should have top priority. Um, we should get there first. Liv, that's not how it works, okay? Just wait patiently, please. If you say so. Okay, may I have Jeff, Amy, and Mr. Ezra come with me to the waiting room? Your um, families have visited. Oh my yes. gosh. Yay, oh my I'm so excited. <laughs> Finally get to see them all again. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me sit in the same seat as usual so they know exactly where I am. Oh, I can't wait. Can I please get three officers to the visiting room now? Thank you. Uh, finally, let's just go grab the families at this point. Okay, hey, Mrs. Peach and um, Liv Peach. Uh, your um, inmate is waiting. You can just go now. Okay, hey, Mr. Anderson and Miss Nicole. Your inmates are ready, so please follow along, everybody. Okay, right, come on, Liv. Let's go. Some other people here visiting as well. Right, are you feeling nervous or are you feeling okay? Nervous, absolutely going to be just fine okay look everyone else is taking a seat and they're not feeling anxious oh okay we're actually here um okay do you want me to talk first Liv yeah you talk first okay sit down in the chair then I'll stand here for fine oh my brother it's been so long since I've seen you oh hey hey how you doing oh my dearest wife and Liv my beautiful girl well, look who it is. Um, how are you doing, I guess, Ezra? I'm doing all right. Uh, it's not been too great in here, but I think I'm getting more used to it and it's getting a little bit better. I have a few friends in here now, so it's not friends? all wow. bad. You look so different, Lexi. You've glowed up so much. Uh, really? Really? What are you saying? So I looked ugly when you was with me? No, I'm just saying you had a glow up, but that's a positive thing. Oh, well, thanks. Anyway, we're not here to talk about looks, as if this is even still a thing. Papers! Oh, not this again. Dad, just sign the papers. No, no, no. I'm not doing it. I've said this. I'm not going to be signing papers while I'm in prison. How about, let me make a deal with you here. We wait until I'm out and then I can think about signing them. You'll probably never get out of jail at this point. 
Well, uh, let... there's nothing to think about. It's not going to make a difference if you do it in prison or out of prison. I'm not waiting any more months. I've been here every single week. Do you really think I've been coming every week to see your face? No, I don't want to see your face, which is why I'm trying to get you to sign the papers. Just sign the divorce papers, please. I'm not signing yeah, them until I'm a free man again, Lexi. Okay, well, you know what? I'm done. I'm not talking to you anymore. You can have this silly little phone and you can talk to your daughter instead. Okay, I'm done. Finished. Fine. <sighs> anyway, I'm done with this. Here, Liv, take the phone. I am so done with this conversation. Liv, my dearest Liv. Oh, I miss you so much. How's school been? Yeah, I've missed you too, Dad. Uh, school's been good, you know, just the usual detention weekly things, you know. Oh, and everything else with school, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about home? Is everything good there? Yeah, everything's good, don't worry. Well, of course her home life's great because she's got me, unlike you, in a cell. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, carry on, Liv. Just carry on. At least there's one parent looking after us. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean it in that way. I was just checking up on you. Sure. How's modelling going? Any new shoots recently? Any new clothes? Yeah, it's been good. I've got so many like PR packages that I have to unbox and everything. It's been going oh, that's good. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy you're proud of me, but you know who I'm not proud of? You. I can't believe you have done all this. You literally broke up with mum, found another woman like 20 years younger, and like left all us kids, kidnapped two of us. Who are you even becoming, Dad? Oh my God. Why won't you just I'm... sign those little divorce papers, get it all over and done with? It won't change anything with you coming out of jail or anything. Just sign the damn papers. Come on. <laughs> I can't it won't believe stop I'm us from seeing you. From you. <laughs> what do you mean you can't believe hearing any of this from me? I don't want anything to do with you anymore. I don't think Landon, Maddie, or Gigi does, and I know Mum doesn't. Mm hmm. Say that again. Me? Never. Never. Not getting <laughs> cheated on for the second time. <gasps> oh, Liv, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Are you, though? Are you really sorry? If you were sorry, maybe you wouldn't go with a uh, lady 20 years younger. You wouldn't break up with mum. You wouldn't throw all these like different things around. You wouldn't kidnap two kids. So are you really sorry? Just think about that. Oh. <laughs> Stop crying and actually think about it. Are you actually sorry? I am. I am. You're not a big baby. Come on. Why are you crying? Because I'm watching my little girl leave me. Well, I had to watch you leave me. Mum, here, take the phone. Oh, I will, gladly. Listen, Ezra, okay? You're saying that you can't believe your daughter is leaving you, but like she said, exactly, because she's very grown up and very mature, unlike you, even though you should be more mature because you're, you know, decades older than her, you left us, okay? So you can't sit here and complain that she doesn't want to be seeing you anymore this is all your fault you have nobody else to blame but yourself not even debbie even though she's a little bit insane sorry debbie if you're around um but you know this is all down to you okay Ooh. you're the only one to blame dad mm. anyway okay. live with your sorry, guys okay well sorry isn't gonna cut it really so you know maybe when you're Keep saying sorry it went to bars anything. you could you know show us that actions speak louder than words but anyway Liv, I'm gonna. Yeah, do you still have your credit card on you? Ah, uh, Liv. Anyway. Sorry, it was actually a really important um, question. Okay, well, Liv, I'm gonna step outside for a second, give you a little moment of privacy. Okay, I'm just gonna be outside if you want me. Okay. Okay. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna sit on this bench and wait until she comes out. Honestly, I cannot believe him. So, Liv, is that it? Are you just not gonna speak to me again? No, I don't, because I don't trust you anymore, I don't think. Just kids trust you, mum doesn't just trust you, and no matter how many times you keep saying sorry, no one's ever going to forgive you. Okay, bye. Uh, Liv, wait! Oh, officer, get me out of here, I'm done, I've got nothing else to say, I want to go back! Oh gosh, you're so dramatic, now get in here, now. Go, go. Oh, ow. Oh, you look like you need some help. Well, how can you help me? The last time you helped me, I ended up in here. That's because you did it wrong. I did it exactly how you told me to do it. 
Sure you did. You listened to your stupid girlfriend and she let you end up in here. Oh, anyway, what advice can you give me now? Plan is Debbie. What? You mean the woman that got me in here in the first place? She literally ruined my entire life. She has made me be separated from my family and had to come here now. Are you done? Yes, I'm done. It's a trick. What What do you mean? Ah, uh, Your brain really is so small, isn't it? Look, she has money, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, she didn't have as long as a sentence as you, and she's also got family who actually want her out of here. So she will be bailed out in no time. If you act like you want to get back with her, then when she let, gets let out, you can be bailed out by her. Get it? Oh, that makes sense now. Mm-hmm. Yes, well done. Your brain finally opened up. Maybe you're actually giving good advice for once. I always give good advice. I told you it was Debbie's fault, not mine. Sure. Anyway, when we let out for our free time, I'll help you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ugh, yeah, calm down, honestly. There is one condition. Um, what is it? You've got to get me bowed out too. Uh, oh, fine, fine. I'll work on it when I get out of here. Brilliant. All right, then, Liv, come on, it's time to go. I didn't get my papers signed. I've still got them right here. Great. And I'm still waiting for that little... Of course little... you didn't. You know what? I really thought he would listen to you. Me too. He's so... Oh, he's so arrogant. He's God. gone insane. But, you know, it's fine. Whatever. Also, I'm driving. Okay. No, I want to drive. And you get... Oh, that's so unfair. Come on, let's get going. And I think we <laughs> do Bloxy Burgers after this, don't you? Absolutely. Let's go. I really wish I could have Ezra back. This whole prison thing made us break up and I, I really want to get him back and I don't know how. Because I really miss him and I miss him so much. I don't be back. He won't even look me in the eye anymore. And he's not even talking to me. Gosh, Debbie, can you shush? Literally, all you do is talk about Ezra. Like, I'm oh my sorry. God. I'm sorry, I just miss him so much. I mean, he was my pookie, you know what I mean? He just... <laughs> pookie? Yeah, you made me sick. What about that new guy you've been talking to? <laughs> what? Ben? <laughs> no, he, I was just trying to make Ezra jealous, okay? Now you've reminded me of Ezra again. Um, so Ben, how's it going with that Debbie lady? Uh, me and Debbie are soulmates. I need Ezra back. He is literally my soulmate and I don't know why he left me. I didn't do anything wrong. Ezra, you fool. Get up. Can't you hear her next oh. door? She's going on about you two being soulmates. This is going to be so what? much easier than I thought. Oh, well, that makes it quite simple then. Yes, it does. Now pay attention. Gosh, this job is so annoying. All the prisoners, line up. It's your free time. Okay, first you two, then we have you two, and yeah, you two, whatever. Let's go, let's go. I don't get in paid enough for this. Oh, this man is so stupid. Look, she's over there talking to another man, and he's just bench pressing. What a weirdo. Right. Ezra. Yeah, what? What are you doing? Um, benching, obviously. Okay, well, if you haven't noticed, um, the girl that's meant to be bailing you out is flirting with another man. Oh, uh, yeah, I completely Yes, so get that, over there and win her over. This is your chance oh, now. We don't okay. have that much free time. We Stop are prisoners, you know. Stop shouting at me. Oh, Go. You... Oh my goodness, this is going to be so hard to act like I like her, but I have to do this. I have to get back to my family. Debbie! Oh. Hi, um, do, do you think we could, um, Hi, how are you? Could, could, could we speak for a minute? Maybe on the bench or something? Yes, yes, of course, let's go! Okay. Wait, can I join? No. No. 
Oh, okay then. Okay, I've been thinking a lot and I think we should get back together. Oh my god, I think so too. Oh my god, we, I can get us just so out. good for each other. My family We're wants like... to bail me out. I can get them to bail you out too. Then we can go have we can go have a marriage and it'll be so cute and it'll be on the beach and everything. Ah! Oh yeah, that sounds so good. I can't wait for all that. So we'll, oh we'll god, definitely be bailing us out, yeah? Yeah, because they were going to bail me out soon. So um, I just have to convince them to bail you out because they don't okay. like you. Oh, well, I'm sure we can make them like me. It's fine. This fool, he better not forget about me. I need to cause a distraction. Uh, hmm, let's just throw this on the floor. Whoa! Oh, what was that? <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, Debbie, Leonard has been, kind of become, like, my best friend in here. And I just, I don't think I can face the outside world without him. He's just, we've gotten so close. Well, you do, can do you face it with you, me, can't you? Yeah, but do, do you think that maybe we could bail him out too, you know? Like, mm, we've give just me, gotten Give me close. one good reason why my family should waste their money on him. Oh, uh, he's just helped us both so much. I think he deserves it. That's not a good enough reason. Um. Oh, he can be the best man at our wedding. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, fine. I'll get them to bail him out too. Plus, they like him more than you anyway, so I'm sure they'll say yes. Oh, okay. That's great. Uh, okay, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Oh, bye, Pookie. Is it done? Uh, uh, is it done? Yes, yes, it, yes, it's done. You're going to get bailed out too. Wonderful. Good work. Uh, finally, um, Leonard, uh, Ezra and Debbie, your bail has been granted, so follow me, everybody. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me go home! Oh my god, relax, I will. Let me out. Thank you. Yeah, please just wait here for your other inmates or whatever. Come out, Come Leonard and Edward. Oh, thank finally. you, thank you. Oh, I'm a free man. <laughs> oh, Ezra, please don't embarrass yourself. Oh, so sorry, sorry. Yay, I'm a free man for the tenth time. Until the next time, of course. Oh gosh, can you all shush and follow me now? <sighs> so unfair. No, Debbie, come back. Uh, ben, she never wanted you. Ezra, Debbie, and notorious stalker Leonard all bailed out of prison? How am I going to tell the kids? Just a few weeks of community service and then mission Get my family back. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that feeds her. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to meet her, you see her walking down the boulevard.